What I'd like to do now is cover cold working for the strakes all along the right-hand side of the tail boom. There's four locations that will need uh, cold working. The very aft location is not, does not need to be cold worked. So first steps is follow a cold working standard. My advice is to highlight the, air, the hole size that you are going to bring the hole up to. In this case, it will be a 532. Highlight all of those. It makes it easier to find the correct drills moving forward. So you the strakes have been lined up. You remove this rivet as an attach point. So the first step is get the starting ream um, that's in the kit. What I want to emphasize here is that these, these reamers and drills have numbers on them, CBR, CBSR, 4-2, or whatever the case may be. Make sure that the, the numbers correspond between the tube and the drill itself. We try our best to make sure there's no confusion, but just double check. It's, it's a good point to, um, so you can continue during it, the, and there is no mess up during the, um, the steps to install these. So first step is drill, ream the hole that you just drilled the rivet out of. Just a quick go through. Then you would use um, check gauges, uh, the correct one, 4-2. 4-2, make sure that does and does not go into the hole. Then you would, you would do is move on to the next one, which after you check that, we will use the, after you check this, the size of the hole, we're gonna use the sleeve to cold work the hole itself. Moving through the install, we supply these cold working tools it's a rotable tool kit that we supply. If you don't have it, please contact us. We'll get one off to you. So with the sleeve onto the arbor, make sure it's tight up against here. They're very tight. Just give it a little push. Make sure it's tight onto the arbor. Put this in the hole. Bring this out a little bit. It'll help hold this in place. And then this, this wrench should be in the kit. 7 16th wrench on the outside here and turn this until you have, you can feel the arbor pull through the sleeve. Once that's completed, remove this from the hole and discard the sleeve. These are one-time use sleeves. When that is completed, you have a final ream that you would do. Again, make sure you have the correct reamer. Make sure the numbers correspond to each other on the tube and the actual reamer that you're using. So, look at that in the drill. Ream the hole to the final hole size. And that's it for cold working.